everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I've been a writer and content creator for over 10 years now. And this channel is my little project to try out a vlog kind of thing. So if you wanna come along for the ride, you can subscribe. I'd love to get to know you. This weekend, my family and I are going to a beach resort in Clearwater with a close friend of the family and his family. So we've actually done this a couple times before and it was so fun both times. And we're actually gonna be spending the night there. So I'm so excited. We're gonna be there Friday and then spend the night and then leave late on Saturday. Today is Thursday but I'm starting the vlog now so I can take you guys with me for my packing process and how I prepare for the trip. Without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see by this lovely vacuum here. I'm going to start with vacuuming my carpet because it just really needs to be vacuumed and I pack on the floor of my room so I lay out my suitcase and then all the clothes I'm going to pack so I just want a clean surface to work on. If you see the horrendous state of my room, no you don't. It is one of my projects this year to completely declutter and reorganize my entire room so it looks crazy right now. Ignore it please. But I'm going to start vacuuming so I have a clean surface on which to pack my whole suitcase. I am back. Fun fact, my suitcase is gone. No idea where it is. I searched all over. My parents searched all over. It is gone. Luckily, we found whatever this is that I can use instead. Now, I'm only staying for literally like a night and two days. So it's just a weekend trip. So I shouldn't like even like need a suitcase, but we are doing a couple of different things. Like it's not just going to the beach. Like we're going to a nice dinner and stuff. So I just want to be prepared and not lack anything. So I might not even end up using that because I don't even know what that thing is. It's ugly. I have a really cute weekend bag that I could probably use instead. It is a little smaller. It's not like suitcase size, but we'll see what I end up using. Finished vacuuming and now I'm going to to make a packing list because I cannot pack without a packing list. my list made i'll usually think of more things to add as i'm packing but this should give me a good thing to go off of i have like my clothes what i need to bring for makeup and hair jewelry my fun category which is just like my phone headphones and their associated chargers toiletries and then just a reminder for my purse i don't know about y'all but i hate packing like with a passion like I always procrastinate it until the last minute because that's when it has to be done so that's when I actually get it done always remember guys if you wait until the last minute it only takes a minute think about that it works better for me that way I also just like I don't like it but we are making it fun we got summer playlists jamming while I do this so that'll make it fun we leave at 8 30 tomorrow and then I'm also getting up early to take a shower in the morning before we leave not a whole lot of time there definitely gotta pack everything tonight I'll bring you guys along for that just unlocked a core memory. My family and I took a trip to Texas in February 2016 and I was doing the same thing. I was procrastinating packing. It was the day before we were supposed to leave. So I thought to myself, why don't I film the trip and me packing to give myself motivation to do it? And that's exactly what I'm doing now. It's all coming together now. Typically the first thing I pack for any trip is my travel day outfit. So I got that out and a couple other options for the rest of the outfits for the rest of the day. I have my weird suitcase. We're just going with it. We're going with a really weird suitcase slash backpack slash rolling thing. I don't know. We have it out and then I also had my packing list and music here, but we're actually gonna break now for some dinner and come back to this later. Welcome back. After dinner, we had dessert and watched a TV show. Further procrastinated for a bit. It is now 8 p.m. And, um, yeah. We are gonna quickly pack everything and get to bed early tonight so I can get lots of sleep for tomorrow because I'm waking up early to shower. Obviously, we're leaving early as well, so I need to have everything packed and ready to go tonight. So, let's do this.
It is 11.15 p.m. That took so long. I have a couple last minute things to pack in the morning, but other than that, I'm all good to go. I'm getting up at 6.30, so I really hope I don't regret this in the morning. But yeah, we are all done packing. I'm quickly headed to get ready for bed to get up bright and early in the morning. I'm gonna ask my parents if we can go to Starbucks on the way there because that would make getting up early in the morning worth it. Good night. It is now 8 19 in the morning and we are about to load everything up and get ready to go my hair indeed is wet because i have no time to style it but it's okay because we're going to be swimming today anyway the noise you hear right now is our mowers who i don't know why they're here this early in the morning are they even hours i don't know but i successfully convinced my parents to stop at starbucks so hopefully we leave soon so we have enough time to actually secure that everything's packed and i am ready to go It's so cool. We are on the 11th floor. There's a whole pool here. Beautiful view. This place has their own private beach. And by popular demand, this is my- Let me show you guys. We got the pool out here. And then if I take you guys over here, down here we got- Boom. Better not drop the phone. Oh, we got our own private beach too. It's a long walk, guys. Getting my steps in, burning my calories. Check it out. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. This was unsolicited. She doesn't mind me doing this, I'm pretty sure. But we met this random kid named uh, Antonio. He decided to harass uh, these people's dogs. And he ordered a Sprite on our tab. I'm just kidding. I'm playing, bro. I'm playing. No, Antonio's your boy. <laughs> so now you have officially met Russell, my brother. And we are here. Well, you already do an introduction. Nobody knows you except for the people who follow me from my Instagram. Most of you should know him. Anyway, we're here at the resort with my dad's friend's family. So we call him Uncle. We have an oh. open tab. So we're just ordering no. drinks. I'm ordering mocktails. I just ordered a coffee. So hopefully it comes here soon because I wanted a little bit of caffeine. This is the nicest resort I've ever stayed in. It's only been open for five weeks. The manager himself gave us a little tour. So cool. Coffee secured. I asked for sugar and oat milk, but they didn't have any oat milk, so they put coconut milk in it for me, which is perfect. It totally worked. The sirens you hear in the background are because I'm looking at a huge pillar of smoke right now. I think there's a fire, like another building is on fire. It looks really bad. Dang. Oh, it's, it's inside the building. It's out the window. You see it? Oh. This is our balcony. It looks absolutely beautiful. We are in the hotel room now. It took so long for it to get ready. We got here around 10-ish, but the room wasn't ready until like four-ish, maybe a little earlier than that. So we're chilling here now before we go to dinner. It is around five right now. We have dinner reservations here at the hotel restaurant at 6.30 for my dad's friend's birthday. So we are just chilling here. I literally can't get over this view. The hotel we're at, like I mentioned earlier, it's not only been open for only five weeks, it is the only five-star hotel in Clearwater. The only five-star hotel in Clearwater. That means this is the nicest hotel in Clearwater. The poolside service was literally so cool. They would come by every so often, give you drinks and stuff. Well, I mean, you obviously you had to like order and pay for it. It was so cool. I loved the drink that I got. It was a virgin pina colada with strawberry. It was so good. It's like a frozen drink, but it had ice in it too. Let's appreciate this view. This, how, how beautiful is this? My brother is playing video games. We're just watching him. I'm just chilling until it's time to get ready to go to dinner. just spent 45 minutes to an hour just staring at the beach resort over the balcony it was so beautiful so calming so relaxing but now we are about to head downstairs for dinner this is the fit back by popular demand it, the, the viewers love you say hello hi viewers all 29 of you 31 31 uh... <laughs> We 
are back from dinner. I got really cold, so I brought this sweatshirt. Dinner was really good. It was a little different, but it was really good. We literally ate there for over two and a half hours. The reservation started at 6.30. It is like 9.15 right now. But it was really, really good, and we celebrated Uncle's birthday. I'm going to, I don't know, do something fun with the rest of my night. Can they be delivered? I'm looking. Yeah, I need to watch the fruit snacks. Really? It's fruit. Mixed fruit. Okay guys, excuse the horrendous lighting because it is 10 p.m. at night. I am changed into my PJs now. We are watching Psych, but we paused to order some gummies from 7-Eleven. We're door dashing it. I really wanted goofy snacks. So I'm getting a five ounce Lotus mixed fruit snacks. Mm -hmm. We're also getting two kinds of candy. And I'm getting a large bottle of water. Are you guys good with that? Yes. Thanks, Dad. So our snacks will be here halfway through the episode. Fun times. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire emergency reported in the building. Please evacuate the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Reported in the building. Please evacuate the building by the nearest exit. Where is a siren? Good morning. It is 11.30. Due to some interesting events last night, I am very tired. Did not sleep well at all. I've been up since 9.45, but I'm just now getting coffee. Praise God. But yeah, at 4.45 in the morning, the fire alarm went off. I've never been in a building where we had like a fire alarm go off before. That was my very first time to have a fire alarm go off. I freaked out. I was scared, but stayed calm. Oh God. I didn't know if like we were coming back. I didn't know if the whole building was up in flames. I didn't know what was going on. I personally was very hot. I don't know if the AC like turned off during the night. I don't know if I just like was having a hot flash. I was like, oh my gosh, there's fire in the building. I did pee before we left. Probably not a great thing to do in emergency. Probably just need to like get out the building. I put my shoes on. I grabbed like all my earthly possessions because I didn't know if we were coming back. Like was everything getting burned? I didn't know. I'd never been in like a fire situation before. I grabbed like my weekend bag, my purse, my phone. The vlog exit signs were flashing. I had no idea that that's what exit signs were for. I thought <laughs> I thought the exit signs were for to show you where the exit is. I didn't know that in an emergency they would actually flash red like that. Anyway, we all went outside and there were like a couple families out there. Half the people did not take it seriously at all. We were just standing outside. We found my dad's friend's family, our uncle's family. We found them. We went over there and talked to them. We didn't know what was going on. We didn't see any fire. We didn't see any smoke. But finally, the manager let us back in. We still didn't know what was going on at this point. We didn't know. Man plowed through you. Yeah, no, I'm getting to that. <laughs> the fire trucks had come and the firemen went into the building and they were going out and my brother held the door open for them. So they were at the door, <laughs> but they weren't coming out. So I, like, I wanted to like step back and let them go first as a sign of respect, but they weren't going. I, you know, quickly decided to just like dart in real quick because we were trying to get, we couldn't use the elevators. We were on the sixth floor. There was like one elevator there. So we were trying to get to it fast. So I didn't want to make everybody wait. So I just, I wanted to dart in quickly, but he went at the same time. I said, sorry. And I tried to back up and move, but my bag hit up against the door and I couldn't move. The firefighter didn't stop. He's a grown man. He has all his gear on. I filmed him. Y'all saw him. He just plowed through me. He. He plummeted through me. I was trying to get out of his way, but I couldn't. I was up against the door. Instead of waiting for me to move, he just, with his full body weight, plowed through me. There was no fire or anything. I felt so bad, too, because I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I wanted to let him go first, but I couldn't move. I was stuck up against the door. He was plowing through me. I was so shocked. My aunt asked me later, are you okay? That fireman, like, plowed through you. I was not okay. And every time I tried to go to sleep, I was like, wow, that fireman really just plowed through me. The elevator that we found that was available could only go to the seventh floor. We are on the sixth floor. So we got the elevator to the seventh floor. There was water everywhere on the floor. We were like, what's going on? A sous chef. It's five in the morning. There's a sous chef on the seventh floor explaining to us what's going on. How does the sous chef know? What is he doing there? I don't know. He was hotel staff. Apparently a shower head had busted and had caused the sprinkler system to turn off. Immediately that triggered the fire alarm because it's not safe to not have a working sprinkler system, obviously in a building this full of people. If there was a fire, you know, there'd be no sprinkler system. There was no fire. So that fireman had no reason to plow through me. He was leaving the building. It wasn't like he was going in ready to fight a fire no this was after the emergency was called off and we were all 
uh, to go back inside. Anyway, that was five in the morning and I had not slept well at all. Please tell me I'm not the only one who finds hotel beds so uncomfortable and especially the pillows. Where is the neck support? I could not sleep at all, but it's fine. I'm about to go take a shower and get ready for the day. kidding i decided not to get a shower we check out in just a couple hours and i want to enjoy as much of the beach time as i can i'm gonna go and go down to the private little beach and just chill for about an hour or so till it's time for lunch i also got sunburned really bad yesterday and i had the wonderful foresight to bring a second swimsuit so this is a long sleeve so i will not be burning my shoulders anymore because they got really sunburned yesterday and they really hurt so i'm glad to have some protection from the sun also peep the really cute palm tree earrings love them we are all set up at the beach beach now we got some chairs set up also gave us drink menu love that full side service today i got a strawberry pina colada virgin obviously a mocktail i'm just gonna ask them what they have because i really like that sweet fruity tropical drink kind of thing we're just gonna sit here and relax for an hour just stare at the ocean daydream just relax and then we have lunch in an hour strawberry daiquiri it had a cute little orange on the side but uh, my brother wanted it it tastes really good i kind of like my other drink that i got yesterday better it was a strawberry pina colada this like just tastes like strawberry but it's really good we are back up from the beautiful little private beach we are on the 11th floor on the hotel's beautiful restaurant it's open air so gorgeous and so pretty you'll see it i ordered a teriyaki salmon bowl which was gluten-free can you believe it i'm so excited to try that the whole restaurant layout was so pretty and we are going to have some delicious lunch. All righty, we had Oh my word, my makeup is dripping so bad. I didn't think I was gonna get in the pool and swim today, so I didn't put on waterproof mascara. Also, I couldn't find it. Anyway, we had an amazing lunch at the hotel's restaurant. It was so good. We check out in uh, half an hour. Yeah. So I am quickly going to pack all my stuff and be on time to leave. I just got in the pool with my little cousins. Shout out to Wyatt in Brooklyn if you're watching this. Fun times. We are going Coming up to find our room. I don't know where I am. This has been literally so fun. It's been on my bucket list for so long to go to a resort like this, and then it just happened. God is good. Goodbye, beach. And we are sadly leaving. We are going to get a souvenir at Surf Style, which they had ads all over the beach by airplane. So we are going in here. We are back home now. We got Indian food for dinner. Then we watched an episode of Psych. We had such a fun trip, even with the crazy fire alarm, firefighter literally running me over. I'm so glad we got to go to the resort. This is the little necklace that I got at the little gift shop there. It's so cute. It's a little daisy choker. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. Comment down below what video you'd like to see next. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload my next one, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.